Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. This is Elf and this is me and if you're new here in this channel, I sit down, have my first cup of coffee of the day and I just talk about the things as I get ready for my day or before I get ready for my day. So today, I mean this weekend, my partner is visiting and I actually thought about asking him to join me in this project but I realized I don't have a mic but I did get us a little something it's a card game called Our Moments it, they're just conversation starters you know we're both pretty introverted um, so yeah talking to people in general it, it does not come naturally so let's check it take a look at this box it says ages 18 and up for two players and I did check some of the cards some of them are are rated for real but I'm not gonna answer any of those not in this project not in this channel you know but it says here Our moments, relationships define us, great relationships make us feel better. Yes, they might take some work to maintain, but nobody said it shouldn't be fun and interesting altogether. So this box reminds me of a scene from the Big Bang Theory. If you're familiar with that show, there was this car scene between Amy and Sheldon after they broke up. And Sheldon had a list of conversation starters. So it reminds me of that. And you know, sometimes it's fun. Just uh you know, for those boring nights when there's not much to do and you just finished binge watching maybe. So yeah. So for today I will for this morning I will answer a few questions just to fill up the time and you know just stuff <laughs> I'm I'm lagging a lot cuz I'm, I'm a bit self-conscious right now but yeah I'll get the hang of it so let's just go through these cards first question is do you think we should live like we're dying I think this question is supposed to mean something else, but to me, I do think that we should live as if we live for a purpose, knowing that our na days are numbered, not necessarily YOLO or this day could be my last, because um, that kind of taps into the fear of dying. Dying is a natural thing. I personally am not afraid to die. I'm not in a hurry to pass on but I have never been afraid of dying it has been a question that was always posted in class since high school but I don't know that fear was just never there but I do believe that as I've mentioned we should live as if our days are numbered and make the most of what we have and do think about what am I doing with my life? Is there a legacy that I will pass on? And um, personally, I I do hope that I could touch people's lives while I am here. Especially since I'm a teacher and I make it a goal to be someone to these kids, to as many of them. I try to build relationships with them and real relationships beyond the assignments that we need to finish it's not easy when you get to spend you know two hours a week with them maybe but yeah there's that however i neither am i obsessed about or focused on actually having to leave a legacy if you get what i mean it's fine uh, I think people become forgotten eventually and I'm okay with that which I think is also why when my time does come I don't actually want to be buried you know it's like it's pointless if I can put it simply so yeah there's that second question do you believe that everyone deserves forgiveness what I do believe in is that 
everyone deserves to get a chance to move on. I think that as a person who has been wronged, you deserve to forgive yourself. You deserve to let go of things that you may be bottling up whether or not that other party has asked for forgiveness or is even willing to recognize that they have wronged you you deserve to forgive yourself and you deserve to let go of things even when things are left and said or, or even when things cannot be forgiven and another big bang theory reference in the last season i think is either the second to last episode no yeah i think it's the second to last episode leonard forgives his mother even though she even stated she didn't ask for forgiveness but it's something that he needed so that he can let go of his hang-ups i think that is what everyone deserves can you tell when someone is lying only half of the time i can tell when kids are lying because that is easier but with adults i think i just i think it's just different um with adults i don't really bother trying to catch if someone's lying to me or not i just take their word for face value if that is your truth if that is what you want for your statement that is what you want to stick with then fine we'll just deal with it but with kids i do Part of the job is having to catch them when they are lying. So with that, I am on my toes. And most of the time, I do catch them. I don't always let them know that I know they're lying. But uh, actually, I never tell them that I know you're lying. I just try to... I just keep on asking questions so that they realize that I do know that they are lying so that they themselves would change their statement. Next question. Are you living your life purpose or still searching? I don't know. I hope I am. But it's always a question, especially when you're in your 20s. Am I living to my potential? Is this what I really want in life? You know, that whole thing. I think that's also the reason why they have a term for it, the quarter life or midlife crisis. So yeah, it's just that stage in life where you're really thinking about what you want and really thinking about will I still want this 10 years from now? If I commit to this, will I be happy down the road? Hmm. What's one mistake you keep repeating? Do daily things still count? Hmm. Well, going back to an earlier question, do you believe that everyone deserves forgiveness? I think it's something that I keep... I do believe that everyone deserves forgiveness, but the whole thing that I talked about, I think it's something that I'm still learning to do. So yeah, that's a mistake I do keep on repeating, failing to forgive myself of things. Hmm. I'm going through some of these questions because uh, I don't really have answers for them. So yeah. I'll, I don't know, I'll, I'll save that for another time. What do you love about your hometown? Maybe nostalgia. I've always lived here, well for most of my life. For a while, actually I've been around. I've lived in a few places. But this house where I'm staying at right now has always been my permanent residence. So yeah, it's more about nostalgia, knowing that this will always be my hometown. I know the streets, I know how to deal with the people here, I know that I have family here, and it literally feels like home. What are you bored of? Huh. I think I get bored easily about things I'm not very interested in. Oh yeah, um, I cannot s sit through very very long videos on YouTube. 
if they're longer than 20 minutes I'm not gonna watch it uh, it's just too long for my attention span <laughs> so yeah there's that so I will catch you again tomorrow I do have a visitor this weekend so I probably won't be able to prepare much for the next episode but thanks for hanging out with me today until next time bye